Welcome back Team Fever, back again with another video and I'm back with another Big Brother 21 video. This video is very late, very last minute, very just, I just decided to do it. So excuse the appearance, I'm sorry y'all. I just, I just came home from work and was like, why not? I watched episode two last night and you know, it's Thursday. I don't know when this vid video is gonna go up. Hopefully it goes up today. And well, it's probably not going up today because it's actually already pretty late. It's probably gonna go up Friday and I don't know. I hope y'all watch it. So I'm gonna review or talk about episodes one and two. Now, when I initially watched episode one, I was like in major hate mode because, you know, I didn't make it. Even though I did my cast assessment and first impressions video, I still, like, when I saw episode one, I was just like, hey, uh, like, oh my god. Like, as soon as they showed somebody, I was like, Ugh, they can do without this person. They can do without this person. I would have been better than this person. I would have been better than that person. But if I take away the hate... Uh, it's all in good fun and jokes, but honestly, I think the cast is pretty good, and nobody, based on their intro, did I feel different about them. Holly, I know, like, her name's Holly, right? Oh. Right, Holly, I, I feel bad because inside my um, cast reaction video, I talked about how I don't remember a thing about her, didn't, and... Honestly, I kind of still don't. But I feel like she's a key player inside the, these two episodes because she's part of the big alliance, which is the sixth alliance. We got, is it Christy, Holly, Isabella, Jack, Jackson, and Nick. So, like, are they going to be the new level six? They, they might be... Now, I'm about to say better than level six because... Those, but level six was a strong alliance too. Everybody in level six, you would think would win, but I don't know. Like level six was not winning a lot. Like they, in the beginning, they could have been taken out if Falte the Hive was smart. I mean, look at the first after Tyler. Look at who the Hohs were. But let's not let's not talk about season twenty. This is about this season. So, I like the campground theme. I really like that first challenge, and I kind of like the first twist where it was just like. I don't know. It seemed pretty easy. You just go into a door it's like where it's kind of luck. Like, I don't know. And Cliff was the first one to get through. Well, first of all, I didn't even talk about how they voted on who's going to be the camp leader. Like, so Cliff stands up. David stands up. Uh, Jessica stands up. And who else was it? Jackson? Jack? Jack one of those two. But they voted for Jackson Jack, one of them. I, I don't know which one is which. But they voted for him to be the camp. And I like how he decided the four people to put up. I think that was a good idea. Oh, actually, my impression did change a little bit. I already liked Isabella, but I was like her even more. I like, like, she is just so fun. But I don't want to root for her to win because she's not a fan of the show. That's why I'm rooting so hard for Christy because Christy is like me. She's like me, but she made the show and I did it. So I just, I really want Christy to win and do well. She won the first HOH. I've noticed reviews all over the place, but I'm really just talking about this first two episodes with y'all. Like, y'all are my friends because none of my friends watch this show. And this is my favorite show inside the world right now. So, yeah. Uh, so, the, basically, these two episodes was mainly about the six alliance, the, the big six alliance who don't have a name yet, or at least I, based on the two episodes, they don't have a name, which I can definitely see them where Isabella is the one that is like, I didn't expect her to be with them. Like, maybe replace Isabella with, or Christy, really. But I guess the three guys, they just pick three random girls to just be with. Really. That's really how it goes. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be those three guys. But I hope this alliance doesn't run the whole season. That's going to be so boring. Uh, and, you know, I when when Jackson or Jack, whoever it was, picked the four people to be inside that den, I was hoping Cliff went home because I just, I don't know. Like, as much as David, I'm, I, I'm not going to say I'm a I just was rooting for him because of the black thing, but really, he don't watch the show, and he doesn't really know much about it, so I'm fine with him going first, I really was, but I know that it's not, like, he's not necessarily leaving, because she said for now, so he could come back, but at this point, like, I, I whoever leaves second... Like, it has to be somebody who I'm really not a fan of for me to want David to be the one to come back. Because I just don't feel bad. Like, I don't feel like I'm missing anything from David being there. Like, maybe 
Maybe he go after you know. But then I I like. I don't know. I don't know. Like this is this is it's hard. And, oh, and we found out that Christy and Ta, uh, Tommy actually know each other. Hopefully that's his actual name. Tommy, um, I think he might get annoying eventually, but that was the, he kind of reminds me a little bit of Jason and mixed with Gina Marie. Gina Marie talking, Jason look wise and action wise and jumping all around and you know. So I, I'm a fan of his right now. I don't like OV strategy already. I lay low and all this crap like. You've been a fan for this long. Lay low. Unless you know that there's a six-person alliance, you need to be not laying low. You need to find out where is the big alliance. Who has the big alliance right now? Because that big alliance, they're not going to target each other, so they're probably going to target you. Don't be laying low for too long. Now, I mean, well, I know it's episode two, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't like his strategy of throwing. I'm not a big fan of people throwing challenges. The only time I'm a big fan of you throwing a challenge is if it's like a veto and there's, you know, who's going home for sure. But then again, I, I don't know. Because then if you get back door, you're going to be like, damn, I should have won that veto. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, Kimmy, I actually like her. I like her more from because she is really like going with this mean girl persona and I kind of like it. Like how she was like I'm not talking to Jackson. So Jackson put up the three people that stood up with him which is weird. Like they fought to stay. They wanted the position you won it. Like why? That was awkward. I didn't expect Jackson to get or Jack whatever his name is to get as many votes as he got. He got ten votes. Like the only people that didn't vote for him were like four people. Maybe I think maybe he should have chose the four people that didn't vote for him to be up, but I guess he don't know who they are. Uh, where was I? I'm just so all over the place with this. I like Catherine a lot too. I know a lot of people uh, don't like her, but I'm a big fan of Catherine. She kind of, I haven't seen Janelle's season, but she kind of reminds me of Janelle a little bit looks wise, and I just, I feel like she could be good at challenges. I really do. So I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, Catherine. She has a weird name for her to look and act like she did. Oh, well, she is 29. Like, I thought she was probably about like 24. Like, at the most, 26. Um, But anyway, yeah, Kemi. I like the way she's taking on this mean girl persona. When she said uh, she wasn't begging Jackson, my thing is, you really didn't have to. Because he's going to nominate four people, and y'all are competing to get back. So, if you feel confident that you're going to win that challenge, you don't have to talk to him. Honestly, you really, really don't. And then, if he puts you up, you come back, you have a perfect excuse on why you should target him. That's the way I see it, right? Like, it's not... Like, like I actually kind of like Kemi. <laughs> my, my boys cracked real hard for that one. But, yeah, I actually kind of like Kemi, which I was not expecting. Uh... Nicole, so Nicole, I I was really upset when I saw Nicole. Uh, by the way, if y'all go back and look at my, uh, I know this review's all over the place, but go back and watch my first impressions. My three winners I picked were Nicole, Annalise, and Christy. And when I was watching that first HOH, and it was down, they were, those three were in the final four with Tommy. I'm like, oh my God, boy, do I know how to pick them. But, I mean, it's the first HOH. There's still, like, 15 people that got to be evicted before they win. But, yeah. Isn't it kind of weird that on finale night, Julie says that the person has been evicted. And Big Brother is all about staying in that house. And once you get out, like, you're evicted, you're eliminated from the show. But on finale night, like, they both leave the house. <laughs> and I think the winner even leaves before the runner-up. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But... Yeah, I actually kind of like Holly. I feel like I, I really, when I was watching, and like, I feel like Holly was like a, probably got the most diary rooms out of all the females in those two episodes. So I think I would want to replace one of my three winners with Holly. I think Holly will have a better chance at winning because she's in that big alliance. Holly's a, I should probably rewatch her preseason interview because I don't. But she seems smart. She seems smart. She's in a good alliance. Um, how old is she? 31. Oh, my God. Holly might be... 
Holly might be one to, to look out for. She might be able to win this. So Christy and Tommy know each other because Christy dated uh, Tommy's aunt. I really want to know how old the aunt was because Christy said she was significantly older than her. So I would like to... And I like how Christy's... Like, Christy's, Christy's a cool lesbian because let me tell you, you would never know. But she's a lesbian. She just likes females, and it's not a big deal. I like I like Christy. I, I, everybody knows I love Christy. She's literally in my heart. I love her. I cannot wait to see her win this season. Sam Smith is annoying as ever. I, I was so spot on when I said I didn't like him because I felt bad after I recorded my video. I'm like, why did I bash this guy so much? Why did I say I didn't like him and I don't even have a reason? Like a backup reason in the video on why I didn't like him, but oh my god, he's so annoying. But Cliff is too. Like I don't even like them. Like, I know y'all probably like Cliff because he's old, but I mean, he's not my type of person that I would connect with. Like Steve from season twenty, I would have been hanging with him, like cool with him. Like I would have been his Scotty. I would have been having conversations with him. But I'm just Cliff. He, he's a good guy though. He's a good guy. I'm not, I don't dislike him like as a person. But, like, on the show, like, I can do it out. I don't really, I don't care one way or the other about Cliff, unfortunately. Sam Smith, um, I think what rubbed me wrong was when he said he has strong political views, and I just assume, I, you know, he's a, a, which way he's going with that. And I think Cliff said the same thing, so, well, maybe he didn't, I don't want to put words, but, yeah. And I know there's something on Twitter of people calling Jack or Jackson, whoever they are, racist, because... He targeted, like, all minorities on his first day, and apparently now he wants Kimmy out, and he wants Jessica out, and he wants Ovi out. I'm not going to lie. That sounds really bad. That looks really bad. Like, you really are targeting all the minorities. And maybe, like, to me, you should notice that. Like, you should notice, like, uh, even if it's not what you're intending, you should notice that, like, wow, I'm really getting out all the people that don't look like me, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. You got David out, you want Kimmy out, you want Jessica out, and where did Ovi come from? You just want him out because he's brown? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying he's racist, but, but I would probably never call somebody racist. Like, I don't know. Uh, that's a strong word. That's a strong allegation to just pull on somebody. And to be honest, he is a good guy. Jack or Jackson, whoever he is, he's he's a he's a good guy. He hasn't done anything super bad like so far inside the house. And I like how he was like, I refuse to be targeted just because I'm a athletic threat or I look like I'm one. Like, I don't know. I like this season so far. I, I hope that I just hope that there's a counter alliance, please, because. If someone else wins HOH, because I know Christy just won HOH, so we have to deal with a week of that alliance being in charge, but it's the first week, so that's fine. But if someone else wins HOH, if they put up some people that's not, like, say Catherine was to win HOH, and she put up Ovi and Kemi, like, you're just feeding that alliance, you know what I'm saying? That alliance who would never put each other up. And I think that alliance is going to just grow because those six, then also, Christy is close to Tommy. So now it's like seven because she's not going to let nothing happen. Well, would she really care though? I don't know. But I just, I don't know. I like the season so far. I want to keep reviewing it. I hope that y'all leave comments and let's talk about it. I know this review is all over the place, but it's really just me talking about the season because I don't have anybody else to talk, talk about it with. So I just want to talk about it with y'all. So let's talk. Let's chat. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. It's all inside the description box down below. If you like this video, make sure you like this video and leave a comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I'm going to keep putting out more videos for y'all from Big Brother Season 21. I probably won't put out any live feed videos this year or even watch the live feeds, I don't think, because I'm just, I'm, my job just, whew. But that's another story for another day. Until next time, guys. I don't know how long the video is. Hope it's not too long. Because I'm probably not going to edit any of this stuff. Catch you later.